people. Yeah. You know, thinking about Governor Chris Christie and some of the real uh, natural disasters that have taken place that I don't think are natural. Yeah. I have some things that I'd like to do, and it seems that um, someone keeps obstructing me. Oh. Now, there's a word called grand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe Aaliyah remembers that word. Mm -hmm. Everything was grand. Ooch. Winifield Jr. <laughs> Where's the United States Navy? Ow. Mm -hmm. Could you? Winifield. <laughs> Now, there have been some key words that have been used to really sow into some of the kids that I want. Yeah. And uh, seeing that Mike and Marilyn went to Israel and there's some children that went with them or happened to be at the Van Poyen house. I thought everything was grand, wasn't it, Aaliyah? Now, the United States Navy has been... There is no jurisdiction of law to obstruct my right to sue this government. Is everything grand? Well, why don't you get me the government employees? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know all of them that belong to any of these organizations. And then get me the National Treasury Employees Union. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought that somebody didn't want me to have any say about what happens to the United States Treasury. <laughs> now, I talked to the Navy a couple days ago about fasting and tightening up the assholes of this great nation. <laughs> but it could be, that, well, I'm going to put you in prison, okay? <laughs> Every employee of the United States government, right, employees that know <laughs> that this county, this state, and each and every state of the United States has not enforced the Constitution. <laughs> These employees of the National Treasury Union, the, uh, yeah. Um, I'm kind of serious about the United States Treasury. Yes. Now, I know the president and the vice president don't want to hear from me about what I think we should be spending money on. <laughs> but let's say he had some, well, he had some missing dirt. Pooch. Because the United States doesn't enforce the actual value of the United States. And I feel a certain amount of responsibility for the United States Treasury. Yes. And uh, certain individuals refuse to actually enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, each and every state treasury could be liable for any top secret underground location yes, where the National Guard didn't want to enforce the laws. <laughs> now, I could sue each state, yes, for refusing mm -hmm, to obligate <laughs> an accounting for all the dirt that is missing from every location of each and every state because the states would not govern themselves. <laughs> then I could go to the United States Treasury. <laughs> now, for those that are government employees in cities, counties, tribal governments, and states, yes. You decided that your top secret way, you were just going to overlook the removal of dirt that doesn't belong to the states? Yes. You weren't going to obligate permitting. Poach. You were not going to obligate the use of actual machinery to remove it? Yes. You were going to use the military's technology to melt dirt? <laughs> Now, I had a little talk with a former General Schwartz of the United States Air Force. Yes. Seemed like everybody had to have their own top secret underground military bunker. <laughs> but I asked him, well, when you were melting all that dirt, yes. Was there anything of value in it? <laughs> Any gold? Silver? <laughs> Diamonds? <laughs> Gems? <laughs> Turquoise. <laughs> now, for all the missing valuables of all the dirt, 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 you know, the United States of America has an obligation to protect the assets of the nation. Mm -hmm. You said that I couldn't make you have to buy my dirt, but I sure the fuck can because the United States is not enforcing the laws of the nation. Now, as a 
private business owner. Get me the dirt. Now, I think we're missing a large amount of land underneath the nation. Mm. And some shrews, yes, that had been cave dwellers, yes, had gotten very light sensitive eyesight and some very large goiters in the middle of their throats, yes, that thought that they would just eat the population and do whatever the fuck they want and no state of the United States would be personally liable for the decision making of those elected to office because sheriffs and police departments. <coughs> now I know, you're in the Treasury Department. Exactly who is it that owns the land underneath every building site of the United States? It's not the executive branch. Ouch. Remember the checks and balances? Ow. Your job is to enforce the laws. Isn't that correct, President? Ouch. Cabinet? Yeah. It's not the legislative branch that writes the laws, is it? Now, it's not the judicial branch that interprets it. No. Who is it that has a responsibility to make sure that there isn't a missing asset in this great nation? Now, is it the treasurer? Oh, or is it one of these citizens that gets really fucking pissed off? <laughs> Now, America's had a lot of uncles, haven't they? Think of me as your great uncle. <laughs> I'm going to sue every state of the United States that has any knowledge of any missing dirt that happened to belong to the United States Treasury. Yes. And for each and every state of the United States that thinks that I don't have the authority to do that, <laughs> for every location that is located by any individual in the United States military that does know that there's not a building permit, <laughs> I'm going to make absolutely... Mm -hmm. 